Hello and welcome to Insight. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Mary Louise Van Atta. We're really excited to have guests with us today from Garten, which is the leader in industrial recycling. recycling. And they've made some big news recently because they opened up a new facility. They were pioneering this stuff 40 years ago. So would you please welcome into the studio with us, Tim Rochat. With Hello. the CEO of With Garden. the CEO of Garden and Jordan, a worker Hello. there. Hi, Jordan. welcome. Glad you're here. Well, tell us about this new facility because we're going to be watching a little bit of a video in just a few minutes to just show people the size and scope of all the excitement. But or just give us, you know, tell us about Garden itself. itself and then maybe a little bit about what's exciting and new going on. Well, thanks for your excitement and thanks for having <laughs> we us on. We are. We like to see people get excited about recycling <laughs> and about Garten in particular. You know, the pleasure I have today is Garten is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year. Wow, 45 so the, years. Uh, well, it's almost as old as you, Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> um, we like to say at Garten that we were about sustainability before it was cool. And so what that means is that we were using recycling as a means to create jobs for people with disabilities for about 40 years now. And so this um, grand opening is really excitingly timed next to our um, 45th anniversary because it's going to increase the capacity of our ability to recycle here in Salem all of the recycling that's generated by Salem residents. So again, where do all your recyclables come from? Um, our recyclables come from all over the place, but um, the biggest majority of them come right here from Marion and Polk Counties. Oh, wonderful. So how many folks do you have working over at the facility? We have about 160 people with Excellent. and without disabilities that working many. at our recycling facility. Oh, yes. my gosh. And we process through that facility about a million pounds of recyclables a week. <gasps> a million pounds a week. I know. That's, that's amazing. Right. I, I know. Yeah. That's, that's mind-boggling. I've seen it. So... Um, Tell us a little bit how that process works. I know that you have, do you still do your, your shredding? We do shredding. Uh -huh. We do confidential document mm -hmm. destruction for lots of businesses mm -hmm. and law offices, the Internal Revenue Service, uh, government. Um, and we process recycling from commercial businesses as well as residential businesses. Now, we've used the mailing service quite a bit. You still have a mailing facility. We That's do. Right. Thanks and for asking. So we, uh, we like that because um, there's nothing uh, more difficult than than getting your staff to sit down and get the envelopes stuffed and mailed and out the door. And it's nice to have someone who can take care of that. Thanks. So. Well, you touched on what Garten's about. Most people know about Garten because of the recycling business, mm -hmm. and it is our biggest business, and it employs the most people. But actually, Garten operates a number of businesses. Hard to believe, Jordan, but not everybody wants to be a recycler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. So, what is, what, Jordan, what do you do as part of Garten? I work up on the belt and... The belt that has you all the, the stuff go down, belt? the conveyor belt that goes down the line? Yeah. Awesome. And what do you do on the belt? Pick up garbage and stuff that doesn't belong. Things that can't be recycled. So what kind of things would those be? Christmas lights. Don't throw um, away your Christmas lights. <laughs> glass. Um, what really drives you crazy with the people might throw away that you wish they wouldn't? Cards. What oh, kind of cards? Sports cards. Oh, oh yeah, because really? collectors really like those, huh? So another word from Jordan, don't throw away your sports cards. Somebody might really Somebody want Somebody might those. want them. Donate them or, um, because you just think Jordan's on the belt and he's not going to be happy. <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. That's you know, great. Jordan's touching on something that a lot of people don't realize about recycling and sustainability. Recycling is a wonderful thing. We appreciate you doing it. Please bring your clean containers, your fiber, your mm -hmm. cardboard, put them on the curb or bring them to Garten because it creates jobs for folks like me and Jordan. Mm -hmm. But um, actually a higher life form in sustainability is reuse. Sure. How and so what be, Jordan yeah. was talking about is don't put things in the recycling that you could repurpose or uh, give to somebody mm -hmm. else to use. Could so that's a, why he was a talking resale about shop cards. Or So who will whatever. be taking, you have these baled things. I've seen mm -hmm. recyclable bale. What kind of commercial use might there be for that? Um, most of our material, uh, we ship both domestically and abroad. Mm -hmm. And so uh, a bale of cardboard, as an example, recycled cardboard or recycled paper is going to be turned into fiber. So it's going to go to a mill. They're going to take that big, um, big bale and they're going to de-ink it. They're going to pull the ink out of it and then they're going to break it down into little fibers. And then they're going to turn it back into either uh, packaging materials or paper. 
Fantastic. Oh, oh, Wendy, I can't wait. I want to go oh, to the facility. Let's go to the facility let's right now. We have a little bit of a video that was taken on January 9th, the day of your ribbon cutting. And, uh, and that's for before we go to the new facility, which is called the Garden. The Murph. The Murph. Is what we were, <laughs> Murph. we were celebrating the opening of our Murph, okay. which Murph. is a funny word. It's an abbreviation. M R F. you laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the MRF. Uh, we call it the MRF, but what that stands for is Materials Recovery Facility. So okay. what you're going to see is the grand opening of our brand new Materials Recovery Facility, which allows us to hire 30 more people wow, great. and process four times as many recyclables as we have been able to process. All let's, right. Let's watch well, I was it. there, so let's go. This equipment is literally the mechanism to empower our workforce to more efficiently process residential and commercial recyclables, keeping the commodities we generate in our community and the jobs in our community. Thank you to all of you who recycle and are so careful to rinse out your milk jugs so that we don't have to smell sour milk. Thank you to all of you for taking the trouble to pull material out so that we can put people to work and spare the environment. The Salem area, the Kaiser area, has been a recycling leader for many, many years now across the state and across the country. This now allows us to not just recycle, but to process the material here and keep the jobs and the wages spent in our community here in Salem. All right, Jordan, now we know what you do on wow. that line. That's a lot of work doing that. Picking those things paper, out. A, a lot of paper, a lot of, it's bigger than you think. It really it, is much, much bigger. It's enormous. Yeah, lots of stuff goes through that facility every day. We're excited about the equipment, but it's really about people at Garden. So the equipment allows us to be more efficient, and it empowers people with disabilities to be more productive. So the automation doesn't put people out of work. Right. It puts people to work in a way that helps people with all kinds of abilities and disabilities to be successful. Mm -hmm. Do you want this model to expand, or are you in the process of expanding even beyond what you have now? Um, we have plenty of capacity in our facility right now. We can recycle everything that's generated in the Salem area. Instead of having those materials shipped up the highway, unsorted, undensified, using five times as many fossil fuels, burning uh, carbon emissions, and uh, taking the jobs with them, we'll be able to handle all that material in Salem. So we just want you to bring more material to be recycled. Please recycle everything you can because it puts people to work. That's absolutely true. How do we get in touch with you, and how do we get involved? Get, do you have some contact and, information and for us? What, you know, how would you like the community to get involved besides the, you know, home, re home and office recycling? If we want to see your facility or we want to learn more about it. Well, we love to have people come and, and learn about what we do and to see people like Gor uh, Jordan working here. Um, people don't seem to know yet how much people with disabilities can do, so there's no substitute for seeing it firsthand. Mm -hmm. um, we would love to host tours at our recycling facility okay. so other people can find out what a MRF is. <laughs> MRF? <laughs> and see real people doing real things. So um, if you just give us a call at our, um, our main office mm -hmm. phone number, that would be 503 581 one nine eight four okay. so 1984 and we'd be happy to set up a tour for you or your service club or cool. your preschool we do a lot of uh, grade school tours oh i bet oh i'll bet mm -hmm. you what about a website do you have a website sure that's garten g-a-r-t-e-n mm -hmm dot org. Just reach out Great. to us at garten.org. And I imagine you've got Facebook and all kinds of fun we things going. We have Facebook, yes. So we can keep up on the current stuff and see those great pictures and videos. Jordan, so. it was really a pleasure having you here today and giving us some good tips on what to do. Uh, it sounds like you enjoy your job. Do yep. you? That's great. Well, good. Well, we hope you keep it up and uh, keep telling people that message to keep recycling. Keep recycling. Well, thank you for joining us today on Inside. We'd love to have you back sometime. Thanks so much. We really appreciate it. Okay. And thank you for joining us on Inside. We'll see you next time. <laughs>